understand they already have concentration camps in the United States of motherfucking America that they've been building for four years now. And the question is, who in the fuck understand they already have concentration camps in the United States? Understand they already have concentration camps in the United States of motherfucking America that they've been building for four years now. And the question is, who in the fuck is you finna put in there? Okay, check this out, guys. Here we are at the FEMA re-education camp at Camp Atterbury, Indiana. It's about 50 miles south of Indianapolis. It's an active military base. I'm here on a World War II reenactment. We have clearance to be on the base. I figured I'd give you all a glimpse of uh, what a FEMA re-education camp really looks like. Now tell me why you have a bunch of FEMA trailers surrounded by concrete barriers and chain links fence. And not only that, you have guard towers at each and every end. And more trailers on the other side that have not been set up yet. Here is another one. And another one. And DCHEM stations to mop out. This is the FEMA Housing Staging Center. Or area, whatever you want to call it. In Selma, Alabama. Every one of these is a housing unit. Here's what blows my mind, and the reason I could say I feel as if they would hold people here temporarily. Understand they already have concentration camps in the United States of motherfucking America that they've been building for four years now. And the question is, who in the fuck is you finna put in there? Okay, check this out, guys. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold. The devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Kahalah, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Let's give it all praise to the Most High. Your name is Only Begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the prophets in Babylon, camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us his truth and truth and sincerity. Peace and salutations to the old folks scattered abroad. And as you heard Cat Williams say, understand they already have concentration camps in America. Okay, and the question is, who in the fuck is they finna put in there? And then you can easily, you know, put two and two together, man. First, the first one they're coming for are you Jakes, you so-called Negro, Hispanics, Native Indians, man. You know, they're going to go for those patriots, too, and stuff. You know, the people that, that that's against the New World Order. That's against the government, you know. But their main... So, like, their main target is going to be you Israelites, man. Because you Israelites, you, you know, you're going to try to buck up. You're going to try to protest and riot. You know, and if they don't gun you down in the streets, they're going to, you know, they're going to put you in these camps, man. Okay? And this right here is a Bible prophecy. So it's going to happen. Even if you say, oh, uh, not in my lifetime. Oh, I hope it don't happen. It's going to happen. And this is why you should be seeking to get closer and closer to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai every day. Because when this thing does play out, when these things do come to pass, you're going to wish you had sought, sought and served Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. So let's bring it back. It says, um, Revelation chapter 2, verse 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer, which we're going to suffer a lot, man. Okay, coming into the hour of temptation. Okay, where they gonna literally, you know, shut this bitch down, man. Okay, the scripture said that we shall no more be stayed upon them that smote us. Meaning these devils, you know, they ain't finna keep feeding all you niggas no more, man. They're not finna keep feeding you niggas, they're not finna keep clothing you and giving you drink. That's why they shutting down these Walmarts. All these stores shutting down. You're hearing about nine hundred stores, you know, shutting down this year. And those stores are gonna be turned into, you know, internment camps as well. Okay? So this is all aiming towards Great death and destruction. So lucky. Which the prophets are warning you about, man. Which the, which the true men of the Lord have been proclaiming in this earth, you know, week in and week out to telling you what's coming. You see Jake say, oh, you guys, you guys say the prophets, you know, the prophets, what the prophets of old. Well, we are, well, 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 well we, we, we're, we, hey, through the spirit, we could be those prophets of old. But also we are saying things that, you know, have not happened yet, prophesying the things that have yet to come. Okay. And FEMA camps have not, you know, 
they have not, you know, been, you know, um, you know, uh, really used in America yet, but they're about to be, which, you know, what, well, what they have, I, I'm on, you know, you got Pearl Harbor, you know, you know, they put the Chinese in that, in those damn, you know, camps, you know, but they're going to do it again. Okay. The modern Holocaust is going to be America. Where, uh, you saw, and the real, the real Jews, it's lucky, man, that's Satan. The real Jews are the Israelites, man. You know, so-called Negroes here in America. You know, so yeah. It says, "Behold, the devil shall come down unto you, she shall cast you into prison, and that ye may be tried." So these prisons is gonna be actual, like you know, internment camps. You know, they're gonna take you out, out of your homes. They gonna cast you out of your houses. You know, and, and, and escort you to, to to these camps to either re reeducate you or destroy you, man. And if you want to leave these camps, you're going you're gonna have to you know have that karagma. Okay, it's pretty simple, man. Okay, what's coming? The scriptures may make it very plain. It says um, that ye may that ye may be tried. This is the hour of temptation, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. You see, and it says, "He that hath an ear, let him hear." Satan, man, let him hear what what, what the Spirit saith unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. So if you Overcoming, you don't ultimately give in. When which give in means to take that karagma, then you will, you know, do a a a a the Lord gonna bless you, man. This is uh, Revelation chapter three verse ten. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. You see, so because we have, you know, um, keep keep the hour. I mean, keep the word of the Lord's patience. Which patience goes into suffering. He said, then for he shall keep us from the hour of temptation. That's why we do this word. That's why we serve y'all about Shem Yashai. Because we, because we don't want to be caught up in them camps. With, with, and that's what they say. You had, you know, certain whistleblowers that say, if you go into these, you don't want to go to these camps. The whole goal is to not make it to the camp. Because, you know, if you go there, you might not make it out. More than likely, you know. Shit going to be heavily guarded. And through the spirit, brothers have had dreams of these camps, man. Okay. My brothers have had dreams of these camps. So, 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 so we know it's real. Isaiah chapter 59, verse 19, it says, So shall they fear the name of Yahweh Bashim Shai from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of Yahweh shall lift up a standard against him. So the enemy is going to come in like a flood. You ever see how a flood comes in? It's, you know unmerciful okay that's how they're coming it says and the lord shall lift up a standard against them which means a way to escape a way to take flight which you know whoever the elect is the lord gonna make a way out for you man if you even if you get taken to these camps the lord gonna you know make a way out you know but everybody else that's not of the lord they're gonna be taken by this man okay it says uh Verse 20, and the Redeemer shall come to Zion and unto them that return from the transgression in Jacob, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. So, and the Lord's going to deliver his people, man. Let me go up, verse 1, Isaiah 59, verse 1. Behold, look, uh, Yahweh, Yahweh's hand is not shortened that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. So whoever the true uh, e elect, you know, are, they're going to be called upon Yahweh Bashem Yahushai in these days. And the Lord is going to deliver them, okay? He's going to deliver them. But everybody else, not so much. Okay? Let me see. Um, this is 2nd Ezra, chapter 16, verse... Um, Let's go to verse 68. It says, For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, which you got a lot of these UN troops already here in America ready to, 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 to mash down on you niggas, man. Proud ass niggas. You women talking about they independent. Okay, we're going to see, man. Go, go, go look at what's going on down there at the border. Those women thought they was independent too. It says, For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. So... They go feed you being idle. 
Sul Akhir. Looks like they said they're gonna feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. Okay, so you being idle, um, you know, in you know, lock on, you know, locked up in a you know, in a damn strap jacket chair in one of these you know camps where you can't leave, you know, they're gonna try to feed you with things offered unto idols, which is gonna be those karagmas, okay, those uh, you know, those uh, sea hips, okay, that's gonna be the answer to all your problems. And well, I mean, that's that's what they're gonna tell you, that's gonna be the answer to all your problems. If you just take this, you know, they're going to starve you out. You know, it's going to be a siege. Yeah, it's going to get nasty out here, man. It says, And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision. America that they've been building. For yeah, they that consent unto them shall be had in derision. And then reproach and try to underfoot. Because they're going to tell you, oh, yeah, you know, you, you want to eat. You got to take this. People are going to take you just because they want to eat. And they're going to give your ass a steak, uh, 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 a damn, uh, a damn cricket steak, man. You know, a fly steak, a roach steak, because they're gonna say what they tell you. They said you, you, you will eat the bugs, you will eat the bugs. Okay, so you might take this thing thinking that you're gonna eat, you gonna, you gonna be able to eat like normal again. No, they're gonna tell you, okay, here, 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 here you go, a veggie steak. Or as I went into that in that movie Snowpiercer, they had, they had a uh, protein blocks that was made out of fucking bugs, man. Okay, it says, so the people that that, that take this, that that consent to this, they're gonna be had in derision. And reproach and try it on the foot, you're gonna be, you know, laughed at, scoffed, mocked, and ultimately de 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 destroyed anyways. You know, not to mention the grievous sores it's gonna give you, the cancer is gonna give you. It says, for there shall be in every city and in the next place, and like in every place and in the next cities, a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They're gonna be hunting and gunning for for those elect men, and the Lord gonna give us men spiritual power so they cannot, you know, devour us. It says they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. You see, so they're gonna be like madmen, spoiling none. Okay, madmen, you know, just killing any babies, women, children. Yeah, they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling those that is still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord, which are the Israelites. It says for they shall waste. And take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. So they're going to come in your house, cast you out of your house, take all your shit, and then y'all, everybody going to, 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 to the camp. It says, Then shall they be known who are my chosen. They shall be tried as the gold in the fire. Okay, so you're going to know who the true chosen cho chosen are in that day, man. When, when all hell break loose, when this thing come down the pipe, you're going to know who the true men of the Lord is because they're the ones that's going to stand firm. Scripture says, I have reserved myself 7,000 men that shall not bow the knee to Baal. So you got certain individual men, that, on, 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 individuals or men on this earth that's not going to bow down. Okay, everybody else is though. All right. That's why it's called the hour of temptation. Let's go here. Well, let me go to Jeremiah 30 and I'll go and I'll end off with uh, Daniel 12. Because, you know, this is what, 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 what we were called to do to come out here and warn our people. Okay, scripture talk about the watchmen. If you're giving out warning, the blood shall be upon you, shall be on your hands. So all you guys out there that call yourself men of the Lord and you're supposed to be watching, you're supposed to be uh, 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 ministers and this, that, and the third. If you ain't warning people about this right here, man. Guess what? You, you, then then you're going to have blood on your hands. Okay, if you ain't warning them about the Karak, you're going to have blood on your hands. This is the book of uh, Jeremiah, chapter 30, verse um Verse four it says, and these are and these are the words that Yahweh spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah, which are you so-called Negroes, Spanish, Native Indians. For thus saith the Lord Yahweh, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. That's what time we coming to. We ain't coming to a time of peace. It, it ain't gonna be no la di da da. You going to the kingdom of heaven? No, you are gonna go through hell first, man. Scripture says, through much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom of heaven. So it's gonna be a lot of hell. We're gonna have to go through. Ask ye now and see whether doth a, whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness. People are gonna be terribly afraid. This is alas for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even a time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. You see, so these elect men are gonna be saved out of it. And how are we gonna be saved out of it? Let's grab it. Because we're gonna need divine intervention, man. The time the shit we times you're coming into, your fucking forty four ain't gonna be able to save you, man. You're fucking you know, your Glock 12, your Glock 9, and they're going to be able to save you. Daniel chapter 12, verse 1, it says, And at that time shall Michael stand up, which Michael is an archangel of war. 
shall stand up. The great prince was standing for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as was never since there was a nation. A time like never before. It says, and and at that time thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. So whoever's found written in the book, they're going to be delivered, man. That's why my, Michael the Archangel is going to be down here to help his people. A good example of that, too, is the movie Legion. You know, the movie Legion, you had this, um, you know, th 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 this angel come down from heaven to, 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 to help. You know, he had, you know, obviously they painted him as a, a, a as a heathen, you know, what appeared to be Edomite. But, you know, he came down with those wings, you know, and he was pretty much delivering, you know, and they were shooting at him. And, and he was, you know, he he had like these iron wings that pretty much made the bullets bounce off. OK, so let me grab this off with this right here. One of my favorite scriptures, man, because this right here is, is, is a cut to all, 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 all of all of the fairy tales, man. Okay, it says Acts the 14, verse 22. It says, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith, which we do. He exhorts you to continue in the faith, man. Continue to push, continue to strive for Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, because you're going to be thankful that you did when, all one of, when, you, when you see these prophecies coming to pass. The scripture says, then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. It says, and that we, we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the Most High. So we're going to enter into the kingdom of the High. The kingdom of the Most High, Salakia, but not only until after we go through much tribulation, man, much hell, you know, much distress, much chaos, much death and destruction. We got to see all that, man. You know, so prepare your minds for that. Prepare your spirits. The times we come into struggle, man, is like a time like never before. And you know, Lord, when we be that elect, you know, and, and we do endure until the end, you know, we're gonna have to see it all, man. You don't get to just, you know, off yourself and not and not you good. You don't gotta. You know, and the scripture says, people shall shall be seeking death and shall not find it. So people are going to be trying to kill themselves, man. You know, to try to escape the blast, to try to escape, you know, the, the times that we're that, that we coming into. Christians think that they're going to be raptured up, you know, right before the seven years of tribulation. No, you're going to find your ass in that tribulation and you're going to see the elect get raptured up before the ultimate plague come, which is those thermonuclear missiles. And, you know, in the midst of all that, you can have these FEMA camps, you know, Pumping in and pumping out, all right. People that's taking the Karagum, that's not taking it. All right, so that's it. I'm gonna say Shalom, Kormish, Shalom, Abba, Abba, Prince, let's be in the front of the whole world. Shalom.